This is the story of Africa. This land has had her children torn away from her, taken to distant um, lands. Our people have been enslaved and oppressed, and many remain in the, in the land of oppression, in the land of bondage. So this is a story that started with hope, but was not um, as hopeful to when it ended, though some people found hope in it. And it is a demonstration of the divisions that we have as a people. Now, there was one man who arose in a land of oppression and rallied all the people of that land. Some arose in support of him, though they were not exactly working under his direct command. They were so fired up that they arose and went to where their brothers were held in bondage in order to free them. Now the rulers of that land realized that there was a plan and there was an ongoing assault in that place of bondage. So they ran to the leader who had rallied up the masses against the oppressors. They went to him because they had trained him in battle. They had taught him to war. And his loyalty has always um, been somewhat bound to them, being the land where he was born and where he had taken an oath to protect. Now, they did not know where the attack was happening, though they knew that their land and their system was under attack. And the only person who could help them was this leader. So this leader agreed to help them discover the place of attack and to stop it. So he went with them, him and his soldiers and also of the oppressing kingdom, even they carried their own troops. When they reached to the place of battle, the African hero sold out his brothers who had attacked the place of bondage. They made a covenant or an agreement of exchange with the oppressors and agreed to divide the attackers between those who were born on the land and those who were not born on the land. And those who were born on the land were freed, and those who were not born on the land were given to the oppressors. This was the deal that he made between him and the oppressor because he was wrought. He was displeased that they had arisen without his permission and gone 
and attacked without his command. Even though his dwelling was in the land of Africa, his loyalty was in another land. I had hoped that he would go in and aid the attackers who were freeing their brothers who were imprisoned, but he did not. Then why was he our child? Because he lives and he's our blood. Why is he loyal to the oppressor? Why does he feel a sense of duty to them? It seemed that to him the value of being in control was more than the value of the result of freedom. That the oppressors do not even consider him a threat is also telling of the children of Africa. This is the story of Africa that has been repeated over and over and over again. We are our own worst enemies. We are divided. And so, is it only God that had, has the power to bring us together as one house again? Because clearly, no man has been able to do it. We cannot come together without looking at our tribes and our divisions. And our enemies have been exploiting this over and over again. And it is about to happen in this dispensation. So let's be watchful and let's look out for the things that divide us so that we may live as a people.